Wow, quite ugly, I am thought the gods were handsome. Advise deletion, not good for my eyes. Little Toffee, take a look at me. The one drawn in the book isn't me, I'm not ugly. Legend has it that the Arland continent was once peaceful and harmonious, but later a dark god named Ryan appeared. He led people to fall, turning into bloodthirsty and brutal monsters, taking over the originally bright lands. To counter the dark god, people began to believe in the god of light, building temples, and seeking the power of the god of light through devout prayers. This entire book records over 500 years of history of battling against and Ryan in the continent is equirism derogatory term. Yes, everyone hates me. What does it matter if I'm ugly? For them, dark and evil things should be ugly. TSK, if my man looked like this, I'd kick him off the bed. Woo. Don't worry, with your top-notch appearance as the dominant one, it's impossible to be ugly. Even if I really become ugly, I'll just pretend I don't know them and say goodbye, then find Maomion even more obedient. I'm leaving. But I've been in this dimension for so long and haven't seen him. OT. Calm, could something have happened? Your Holiness, why have you come? The elven prince brought an elf named Wencha. Have you met him? This old man seems well informed. Is he so nervous because he's afraid I'll be taken away by the elves? Yes, I've met him, but he's too frivolous. Don't have a good impression of him. A mature office worker voluntarily provides sufficient security for. A mature office worker voluntarily provides sufficient security for. Their immediate superior. You don't like him. I don't, his gaze towards me is full of scheming. I find it hard to trust the elven race. Your judgment is spot on. Just like the beastmen, the elves are not trustworthy and not worth relying on. When I traveled the continent spreading the gospel, the elves asked me to help heal their mother tree. But when the beast tied and monsters descended, they abandoned me, weakened in divine power, and I had to escape alone, almost losing my life. So, I vowed never to deal with the weak and selfish elves again. This time they've appeared probably because they heard about the new appointed deity and want to see if there's any benefit. I see, no wonder the elven prince dared to test me at the banquet. He wanted to confirm if I have any value to exploit. I'm not telling you these things to make you hate the elves. I just want to remind you so you won't be misled. From what I know, 
that Wensha is a notorious playboy among the elves. Don't let beauty blind you. I understand, I'll be extra careful. The notorious playboy among the elves. I think he's more like a famous smooth talker. Night. This youth, sure, he's good looking, but he's not stunning enough to make Ryan swoon, is he? One sheep two sheep, happily roasting a whole lamb, grilled oysters, lamb skewers, pork belly, spicy hot pot, sour and spicy noodles, whole roasted chicken. Moreover, this guy doesn't have a single bit of sincerity. Oh well, I'm done. Can't even find a good late night snack in this place. Forget it, let's go back to sleep. My dear deity, you must be tired from praying, roses can clear your mind and soothe your spirit, I hope you like them. I'm sorry, I don't like roses. Besides, how could serving the god of light be tiring? Ha, you little liar. Don't pretend to be devout. I heard clearly what you were muttering during your prayers. Please leave, this isn't a place for you to come. How, how can anyone not like roses? I don't believe it, he must be joking. Hee <laughs> hee, little Toffee wouldn't accept roses from anyone else except me. And, only sunflowers are worthy of little Toffee. A.H. Great, another day passed by. Time to sleep, sleep. Little Toffee, would you like flowers? I'll give them to you from now on, okay? Midnight It's not even dawn yet, why am I awake? Oh no! Host! Wake up! There's a big problem! There, there is! Don't shout! I was just dreaming of a crucial scene.